of our children that do not have water to drink or to wash up before they go to school. We don't know what kind of effect this is going to have on our children. It may be affecting them 10 or 15 years from now. Nobody seems to know, have an answer for all of this. So today, I hope that we have every grandparent, neighbor, every student, every concerned citizen. We need to have all of the pastors here because no church in the city of Flint don't have a family attending that congregation that don't have water. Our seniors don't have water because they can't afford to pay the water bill. A lot of our seniors retired 10 or 15 years ago. They don't have the money to pay this high water bill. We are all right during the summer. We have some folks that are working two jobs. We have parents, that is two parents in the family is working two jobs and they can hardly pay their bills and keep the water on for their children. In this day and age, that is too much. We have seniors. They don't have anybody to go to. Right now, our agencies don't have money to help with the water bill. They don't start help until October. Children start the school in September. How are our children going to go to school smelling? How are they going to learn? How are they going to become productive human beings if they have such low esteem of their self? Because they know they don't smell nice. Right. We have to do something about this. Every grandparent, every, parent, every person that don't have a child, you need to be concerned about your neighbor. Because right now, we don't have no idea how many families in the city of Flint that do not have running water. Our, 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 our young, young parents are afraid to speak up so high because they can get their children taken away from them because they don't have water. So what is your child go to, to foster care, whatever they put it in, but they're, taking, they're breaking up the family. It's like we are, we are on a road to destroy families. As yeah. long as we can come between you. And, and once, we're, once we're separated, then we are destroyed. And I don't mean to take up all the time, but this thing is just something that's bothering me. And we have to do something about it. We have to gather to do something about it. And it's everybody's problem. If you can pay your water bill so well and good, but you still have the problem, can your neighbor pay their water bill? Can your children pay their water bill? Can the people you grew up with pay their water bill? So this water bill thing is everybody's problem. So we all gonna have to come together to solve this problem. I know some of you may have heard what's happening in Detroit. They have a fund set up so they can help pay people water bill. Because we, we, can't, we can't go without it. Just think if there's a child in the house and get choked, there's no water. Uh, 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 when a child go to the bathroom, they can't flush the toilet. They can't go to the faucet and get a glass of water. Just think, we look at the stuff on TV and see the children that are over in other countries that can't do it. But we're right here in Flint and we have children that can't do it. So what are we going to do? We've got to come together. We've got to get on the same road, headed the same way so we can take care of this problem. One, I would like to say, um, I applaud Sister Anderson for bringing this together. because One thing I want to explain to us, we owe ourselves $10 million. We owe one million in water, nine million in sewer that the general fund borrowed from the water sewer fund. The emergency manager wants us to pay this back in five years, which is $2 million a year. If we have to pay $2 million a year, then that goes on the backs of the residents, which is a part of why the reasons why the water race is going up right now. But we owe it to ourselves. If we pay this back in 20 years, we'll pay $200,000 a year. With that $200,000 a year, we have a great savings. With that savings, we give it back to the residents, and that can lower the water rates. Two, we have a water service charge that shouldn't be there. We're serving our own selves from the Flint River. We're no longer connected to the city of Detroit. So why do we have to pay $53.64 if we don't use not a drip of water in our house? That can be removed. 
So there's many ways that we can lower the water rates and it don't affect this munis municipality. If someone decides not to do these things, then they are contributing to the problem. Water is the natural, most purified resources that the human body can ever have. We can go without food for a certain amount of time, but we can never go without water. So you need water. And if we cannot have it affordable, that it can meet our needs, then we have to move somewhere else outside of Flint, Michigan, where that it can become affordable. So always remember, this is a systematic form of deception, and it's also considered a genocide because the water is not qualified water. So at the end, I am Councilman Davis of the Fifth Ward, because I tell you this, in November, I want to say this real quick before I get off this mic, there's another way that we can resolve these problems that we're going through as well. In November, we have to get out and vote. Amen. We have to get out and vote. He is. His name is Mark Shower. Amen. Mark Shower told me personally that when he gets in office, he's getting rid of these emergency managers and he's going to repeal a lot of these things that Rick Snyder has done because it's bad policy. Uh, Reverend Threlkel is my name and I like to follow up on councilman about voting. Yes, we do have high water rates, property rates, whole lot of things are going on in Flint. And it's all because of the city administration led by the emergency manager, the mayor. Thank you. Now people, especially you young people, 18 and over, this is your season. It's time for you to get off your duff and get out and vote. It's very important to vote, to vote. Our theme this year is taking souls to the polls. And if we take souls to the polls, then we can remove Snyder, we can remove the emergency manager, and we can take Flint over as people. We the people need to run this city. This city administration sucks because we let it suck. That's right. They welcome the manager to come in, but it's all because you did not vote. Look at Jefferson, Missouri. 70% people of color, but only 10% vote. That's apartheid. That's a minority governed by, I mean a majority governed by a minority. And that's what's happening in Flint. We got to wake up. And the only way you can get them in their pocket is get out and vote, and then we come together and act as blacks. Take a day out and don't buy nothing at Walmart. Don't shop somewhere together. But until then, we'll never make it. We've got to come together, irregardless of how I feel about you, you, and you. But it's all upstairs. And it's all because we don't do our job and get the right people in the place. So get out and vote. Souls to the polls. I too want to encourage everybody to get out to the polls and vote. Young people, treat this just like you treated the Obama campaign the first time around and the second time around. Get your friends and your, your, your enemies too to go to the polls because the only way we're ever going to get rid of this man, the tyrant in Lansing, is if we go vote him out. He thinks he has it in the bag, but we got to show him that he doesn't. Because it's this city today, Pontiac yesterday, and some other places before then, but just watch. He may not be in your town right now, but he's coming real soon to a location near you. You can believe that. So we need to get out there and we need to vote. We need to vote. And listen, this country was built for the people, by the people, and of the people, but the people ain't been saying nothing. They haven't been united in saying what they need to say. So we need to unite. We need to unite and make it happen. Young people, you can make it happen. You can make it happen. Young people, you can make it happen. It's up to you. You can make it happen. I've been on this, on this road for a lot of years, along with a lot, of other, my, a lot of other my friends. We've been marching this road for a lot of years. It's time for you to step up, stand up, and speak up and get involved, young people. We need you. Don't let nobody tell you you're not needed. You're needed by us. You're needed by the city of Flint. You're needed by the, the, the people who live in the city of Flint. So please step up. Tell your friends, you guys have this new stuff, this new fangled stuff. 
this, this uh, Facebook and all that stuff. Get, you spend 20 hours on it a day anyway, so spend 20 hours telling your friends, man, we gotta go to the polls. I wanna say good afternoon to each and every one. And it's an honor and a privilege to stand here today because 50, just about 50 years ago, there was those that stayed here, slept here, didn't eat for the sake of right of public housing. Why do you talk about public housing today? I talk about public housing or fair housing today because the like of water takes our right away. Because see, when they, when you miss paying your, your water bill and then you don't uh, be able to pay it and then it goes over across the street and it goes on your taxes, you're not able to pay the taxes, guess what you lose next? Your home. Your home. You lose your home. And if you want to hold on to your home, to your right that was fought for, that it was, was stood up for, that was slept on this lawn, that was rained on, that they turned the water on down here at City Hall. They turned the water on them to get them up and get them out. But they stayed in it in, in, no matter what. And we got to make up them our mind that we going to stay no matter what. We going to take back what rightfully belongs to us. We not going to go quietly away. We not going to give our home away. We're not going to give our water away. We're not going to give our rights away. We're going to do, we're going to band together. United we stand, divided we fall. We're going to stand together. We're going to fight together. We're going to take back what has been taken away from us by a few. All right. By a few. And I think we are the majority, not the minority. And so if we stand together as the majority and fight hand in hand, we will win. So we got to stand up, vote. We got to stand up, speak out. We got to stand up and link up together, work together for the cause of all of us. Not one of us, not two of us, but all of us working together. Because this is not a one person thing. This is an everybody's thing. Amen. This affects all of us. This affects all of us. That's right. Not just one person. It affects all of us. And so turn the mics off. Do whatever you want to. We're still going to speak out. We're still going to stand unified together, fighting for what's right. Thank you. The only people, the only elected officials that I know of, you might have someone else that I don't know have done some things, but I don't know. But uh, Councilman uh, Davis and there was Councilman Mays that have actually spoke out. That's right. You know, on That's the right. water issue. Right. Now, we have all of these elected officials here in the city of Flint, and we haven't heard one thing from them. That's right. We haven't heard their voice no place. Including the They're mayor. They're not even making a statement Including the mayor. They won't even make a statement The rest of the congressmen. The rest of the council persons. Congressmen. The, 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 con the congressmen. The uh, representatives. Senators. The senators. We haven't heard none of them. And I don't care if you black, white, pink, blue, or purple. That's right. When, like you say, there is a wrecking day. And I, you know, when they're not representing us the way they're supposed to, we need to let them know. We need That's to make right. a change. We need to make a change. It's simple as that. And I don't care how much you like a person. That's right. But if they're not doing anything for you, you need to get rid of That's them. Right. Get rid of them. That's I like right. that it's saying what he's saying. Let's get Only on public access. <laughs> <laughs>